So we kind of had a fight here at Nerd Locker on who was going to review number 13, number one, simply because we're juvenile and the title. That being said, the story was pretty interesting. It starts 60 years after the end of civilization. So we have two races, the Mune and the Fected. And the Fected seem to be sort of mutants, and the Mune seem to be sort of robot androids, best of my knowledge of that I can get what's going on in this. Um, we have some Fected children who are out and about, just kind of having fun, and they run upon or come upon a Mune, who is disabled in the ground. They really don't know what he is because they're still kids. And he's number 13. So they start picking him up, trying to take him back to their city, their house. And he activates, but he's very disoriented, doesn't know what's going on, doesn't know where he is, doesn't know what's happened. And he quickly shows his immense power by defending the kids against this other monster that comes up. Um, we quickly go back to Mune headquarters and find out that because he's been activated, all sorts of sensors at Mune headquarters have let everybody know he's back in order and he's working and all this stuff and they have no idea that he's disoriented. They don't know why he's back or what's going on. But they're most of them are thrilled because they claim that he is the key to bring back humanity. But not everybody's happy. You see one panel with some mutants basically starting a revolt and they want to take him out. Back to the kid infected, they take him back to the, their city and are greeted by um, Mother Goose and Mother Goose gladly accepts him in, but then it's revealed she knows what he is and who he is and she wants to reprogram him. We don't get a lot in this story as far as the overall what's going on, but it's a nice little base to get us interested in what could possibly happen. Uh, I'm excited to read number two. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one three and a half nerd skulls.